Hi everyone, it's Belle and I'm here with a flip through of my July, yes I know it's August, this is a little bit late, design team project for the wonderful Release the Crafting. Um, this month's kit was called Curiously Witchy and it's one of her smaller kits. I believe there's 12 full size pages and one page of um, journaling cards. But as you can see, <laughs> just because it's a smaller kit does not mean that the project you make with it ten needs to be a small project. When I first saw this kit, I was inspired by the concept of urban witches um, because there's lots of metal, corrugated card imagery, screws, cogs, that kind of thing. And then that kind of developed as an idea and turned into a sort of urban alchemist, which is grimoire. So as you can see, it's a hardback. This is a new type of cover that I've tried. I'm hoping that's picking up on camera, but it's like, um, it's um, sort of almost a leather effect, but I've done lots of embossing and then outlined that with gold um oh what's it called gold prima wax and then there's this fabric uh spine detailing and then there's the back of it and book corner uh, book corners <laughs> book it's going to be one of those videos guys isn't it always it's two signatures, but as you can see, there is a lot in here. Closure, I've got this chain across, which is easy to open. Sorry, the ice cream man's just gone by. Can you believe it? Um, so, anyone for ice cream? So we've got this chained closure, which is easy to open and has an extension for if the journal um, grows got cogs, moons, all sorts of charms here, keys, and this little bottle of gold flakes. I really hope that's picking up properly. Let me try and get it right up to the camera. There's greens and golds and bronzes and all sorts in there because obviously alchemists work a lot of metal and I've sort of followed that three theme. So when you open it, you need to squeeze it slightly and it just opens like that. I've sort of followed that theme throughout this journal, the concept of metals. There's a lot of stitching. There's a lot of gold detail on pages, on tags, a lot of mottled metal embossing and stuff in here. And as you can see for once, and now my cat's died, for once, there's not a lot of fabric. So this is Antonia. We've got this gorgeous paper in the front. It's a metallic -y gold. It's the last I've got of this paper. And this is one of my favorite pages in the kit. It's a gorgeous hand and it's got all the sort of, you can see the mottled metal look in the background. Oh gosh, this really will be a long video. Lots of stitching around the pages, lots of threads left hanging. And yeah, as I said, this is Antonia. And you can see here the metal pieces uh, alongside the grass. This is embossed writing. I had this concept that, you know, almost like um, secret writing they used to do in, uh, well, used to do maybe as a child and, magical writing and stuff. Um, I had this concept that the gold embossed writing through here, it only is really visible when it catches the light and it made me think of secret writing. So there is her name tag and here we've got um, a pocket and I made this journaling card from the kit and used a stamped image. Um, on the back, I hope you can see that. This is what I mean, I've used gold paint which can be written on because I have tested it and that is not only on the back of the tags here's a bit of embossing and this is a pocket 
embossed moon down there but it's also I'm trying to get that so you can see it, it's also on the some of the pages and there's that embossed moon lots and lots of gold in this book a uh, flip up pocket here and um, I've used a lot of journaling cards from the Alchemy Stamperia kit and what I've done on these as well is I've also I'm really hoping that's picked up I've embossed gold writing on these and also used gold on the back and stitched all around so all of the cards are like that some flower paper but I tried to pay, pick flowers that you would see in your local sort of towns on those deserted bits of grass or on a roundabout or growing up um, on the sidewalk stenciling look every page is tea stained in here another pocket a little mini pocket there with a little sun tag lots of the black pieces are accented with gilding as well now the pages in this book although you don't get tags and ephemera just one sheet of journaling cards the pages in this book are perfect to make into ephemera and large tags like this and this is some sort of rust eco dyed fabric that i had in my stash on top embellishment there tuck spots um, again some more sort of fabric and corrugated card as some of the images have that on it another stamperia card again just a hint of gold on the back lots to get through this is a pocket i haven't filled um every pocket again this is a page from the kit i haven't filled every pocket because it was already chunky enough this is um you can't see it very well but it's a really beautiful mixed metal um sticker sheet that i've die cut out some more fabric and corrugated and again more stamping in gold really hoping that's picking up and i don't think it is Lots of sun and moon imagery. This is some vintage graph paper because they're the two metals to me. You know, you've got the gold for the sun, silver for the moon, um, and they need to kind of be in balance. More embossing down here with golden flowers, some franken paper. This is a vellum pocket and it's not picking up very well, but this has got gold imagery on it too. Another Stamperia. I love this. I think this is my favourite Stamperia kit. And I have just, um, as I said, embossed words on all of the cards just to add to the effect. Uh, this is one of the images from the kit that I've cut out, put onto card. And this is a little pocket. And then another one, the pages. She's also got these sheets that are all witchy words that are separate from the kit. But we got sent them as well as part of the design team for July this opens up lots of writing space lots of little pockets this is another one of those words it says crystals this is a little mini pocket this is an image from the Stamperia kit these circles um, I've cut it out and made it into a pocket and then used crackle glaze over the top and then um, these are Tim Holtz tickets that I've cut out. One of the pages, look at that page, it's beautiful. One of the pages in the kit when I was first printing, uh, I didn't realise I didn't have any black in my printer. So I printed out without the black, but I quite liked the effect. So instead of throwing it away, what I've done is a lot of the stamped, little mini stamped images, which I'll come to and show you, and the tickets, were um, created using that page so you don't need to throw things away beautiful sort of batak um, fabric here and then this is some more rust dyed fabric again some pages from the kit turned into a collage tag we've got more corrugated like that sounds lots of cogs in this and then on the back again, as you can see, gold paint and most of the images, if they've got a stitched around feature that comes through the back, 
um, I've put a little stamped image in that too. This beautiful kit of a uh, page from um, a gardening book I had of a stone goddess planter head and I thought that went quite well in here. And this is a die cut and it is completely embossed in a sort of, I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it down below, but it's a mixed metal embossing paste. One of the journaling cards from the kit. Again, gold on the back, little moon that just tucks in there another flip up and then what I did was the journaling cards I printed them out in the size they're supposed to be and then I printed them please focus there we go in a smaller size so you could get double use this is a little tag this is um, tea stain paper turned into a double tag with a moon embossed on there now this is a card from her other kit um uh what's it called dark oh so I'll, i will link it down below but she took these photos of walls and it just really made me think of obviously the urban alchemist the urban witch living in towns and cities with a bit of greenery and that flips out hold on i hope you can see that yes for more writing space and again i used one of the witchy words some journaling this is just a little tuck spot with a little piece of paper in there. And then you've got this large sewn on paper pad for extra writing space. <laughs> As if you need extra with a kit this big, a journal this big. Um, more gilded on that page. And then this is a kind of uh, three way. There's one of these in each signature. So firstly, it's embossed and there's gold used gold wax used and then it's got the eyelets and it flips out and underneath there's writing space you know you might want your secrets and then if I flip it this way there's writing space on that side too try and get back in shot and then there's also a tuck spot at the top and this is one of the pages from the kit I've turned into a tag and again you can see the gold on the back and the gold on the die cut and that just tucks in the top but it doesn't have to so lots of space just there and these are what I was talking about I use these um, stamped images but they're actually stamped on the page from the kit that didn't print out properly so it all works some more paper some rub-ons there another beautiful page from the kit I just love the way this one mixes nature with these sort of rust coloured um, this is the middle of the signature you can get a perfect view of what I'm talking about now you've got this iron grate in the back but you've got a bird's nest and alchemy images and then this corrugated piece of card on the image it's just it is beautiful this kit and really different I really like it Another one of the this is um, witchy words that you can buy separately. This is from Stamperia pad, the alchemy pad, and this all flicks open. And again, there's all gold paint kind of throughout it, just catching the light. And obviously, you can have it that way to write as well. So plenty, plenty of writing space on here, and all the tea stone paper, double pocket. This is a page from the kit, which was the middle page on that side. And I've turned it into a journaling card, just stitched around it. Gold on the back and the sun stamp. Some vellum here in the cutout. And there's more of the last little pieces of that gorgeous paper that I've got at the front and the back of the book. Stamp and little ticket there. Another of the witchy words, recipes with another stamp, lots of gold on that page. Pocket with one of the um, cards from the Alchemy Stamperia pad. I absolutely love that pad. 
So this is an envelope made out of vintage music paper. <clears throat> I've gessoed over it and then I've used the gold paint on it, stitched some images, wax seal with a little um, quill and bottle. And there's nothing in there because as I said, this is a very full journal already. But that just tucks on there and can be you can hold your secrets and things. Denim sticker, flip up, and again, one of the journaling cards from the kit in miniature. More stamped things. Another one of the beautiful photos that she has. Can you see that on there? Hoping it's picking up the gold. And again, here's that embossed die cut in metal embossing beautiful the other head inside of that goddess head planter um, and fabric flip using some of the rust dyed fabric and some corrugated card there and embellishment this is handmade paper I forgot to say and if you can see <clears throat> that shines too and there's that beautiful moon. I love that moon made out of pieces of metal, the imagery. Then I've used some of the sheets of the paper to make um, a sort of tag, tuck spot. And again, one of the images from the alchemy kit that I've used crackle glaze over and one of the journaling cards from the kit. Just tucks in there paper bag that I've tea stained and stamped on one of the images from the alchemy kit that has a glossed face and then in there again another journaling card made from a page from the kit with a stamped image so that's just a single pocket it's not a double pocket there's the vellum and then I made these I really like these I'm going to make some more of these so it's just a tea stained index card <clears throat> but I've used some of the paper on the bottom half stitched around that and then used stamps again on that sheet of paper that didn't stamp out properly and little metal um, eyelet up there I really like the way that's come out and this flips up for again more writing space and then I've cut one of the images from the kit and again put it on card to make a tuck spot and a stamperia card there that I've stamped on put gold on the back stitched around just really played with the concept of golds in here embossed um sort of cog like butterfly imagery there another pocket here with a page from the kit really hoping you can see all these beautiful pages little touches of blue in this kit as well more embellishments a card from the stamperia kit lots and lots of stitching in here large pocket with some more of that um, fabric and another large tag made from a sheet from the kit page from the kit here um, because this page was blank but I didn't want to sort of cover it up too much it's the other side of that flower page I just added some paper it says astrology on that one and that just tucks over the side and get the petal, uh, petal paper no paper clip this flips up another stamperia card i can get them all out moon embossed down there some more embossing here tuck spot with a tag and then this is um a pocket with this is from the stamperia kit this is a Tim Holtz ticket stamped on a page from a kit. <clears throat> and then this is another journaling card made from a page from the kit. So there is, oh, look at that imagery. It's beautiful. And you can really see the stamping, embossing. 
script there. I love, love these two pages, even though they're two separate pages. I just love them. I like crystal. But then you've got the metal spring there. Just love it. Mm, beautiful kit. There's that envelope with the screws, more embossing. I'll try and go through as quick as possible. Journaling card with one of the witchy um, sentiments from her witchy words kit. Tuck spot again in here. Nothing in there at the moment. Emboss flower and gold. Oh, I think this is my favourite. It's probably because it's a moon and I'm a huge moon lover. My favourite kit um, card from the alchemy kit from Stamperia. This says incense and oils. Oh, I had to put this page in dandelions. Anyone who lives in a town, obviously you see them not just in a town, but anyone who lives in a town knows that dandelions are absolutely everywhere. Um, so I had to put that one in there. Again, another large tag made from a page in the kit. And Tim Holtz stamping there. And then by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked, this way comes. Little pocket with a little tag. No embellishment. Tuck spot with, yet again, a Stamperia um, card in there. Another tuck spot here some paper with that uh, honestly this is beautiful i wish it would pick up properly and this is an embossed sun there more vintage graph paper loads of cogs as well i've used in this one which was good fun another little stamp area little owl that says fortune and this is a tuck spot here. So this was one of the images and one of the pages. And I cut that out and put it on card to make um, a side tuck. Again, one of the pages with one of the witchy sentiments. There's a little witch in all of us. I love that. Alice Hoffman, who wrote Practical Magic. Although, just in personal opinion, the movie for me was better than the book. But the book's still wonderful. It says Herbs down here. There's that moon again from Stamperia. And again, it's a little tuck spot, but I've also used crackle glaze on it and embossing behind it. Love that moon. It's got a little pentacle in it with the metal behind. Just, just look at that. That, again, perfectly shows. Big bit of metal, lots of black and gray, gorgeous little birds and greenery. Honestly, love this kit. Love how different this kit is. And uh, some more of that rust dyed fabric as a belly band and another large collage journaling card made from pages from the kit and some embellishments. And then again, I had this beautiful um, page and it's all rocks, all beautiful, but they've got all hues of browns and things. And um, again, the die cut cogs that act as a tuck spot on one of the journaling cards from the kit sorry if i'm rushing i just this is going to be super long otherwise uh this is similar to the other card but this time i've just stamped on it so again you can just stamp you can make them your own just because there's not lots of ephemera in a kit doesn't mean you can't make lots of ephemera and there's another one of her photos of a wall. It's just got potions and it opens up. Hold on, because you're out of shot. It opens up. I'm getting stamped. Lots of stamping. You see lots of the gold on that page. Just catches the sun really beautifully. Well, I think so. Another little sheet in there, another little ticket. And this is another one of those pads that all just opens up. Gives you tons of writing space and space to write secrets. This is like the other one. So again, it's embossed and then it has gold over the top and it's got this, well, it's a style of a flower in it and it just reminded me of a pentacle. Flips out to right underneath, can write on the other side of it and tag in the top. So it's meant to kind of look almost like a faux pocket with secret writing space underneath. 
some more of those beautiful rub-ons on the words and rituals look at that page is beautiful and it kind of printed out a little bit wrong when it was coming out of the printer so it's got this sort of added color on some of it that just works love this page love it love it love it <laughs> i keep saying that for all the pages but it's just wonderful vellum sticker there there's another one of those um what are they called banner tucks with a miniaturized journaling card underneath and again all the pages are from a kit and then this is from the stamperia pad and i've crackle glazed on top die cut die no cogs and this one flips like this this time to once again give lots of writing space there's those birds love them super cute i don't know why they kind of remind me of christmas no idea why and i'm not sure if you can see but there's almost like embossed texture it looks like there is on them even though there's not it's fabulous sun and moon tag again little tim holtz ticket and embossed vellum and this vellum's actually got a copper running through it so it's really again catches the light um tuck spot with the larger version of the journaling card so you get four journaling cards and again another envelope not going to get it off it's similar to the other one just different imagery um, and then on the back again you've got a wax seal on the back tuck spot a uh, tuck spot where well, is a tuck spot and then flips open and journaling card again the cog die cut tuck spot with a card from the stamperia kit they just work so there's the other side of that i hope you can see those rocks it's just beautiful they work so well together these two kits the um stamperia alchemy pad and Priscilla's curiously witchy um, kit just works so beautifully together. There's more of that handmade paper. There's the skull that I cut out and used as a tuck spot. Love that page too. Oh, just beautiful. Another bag with um, the hand is actually... Uh, I've used gloss on the hand to give it a 3D effect and this is the smaller remember I was telling you about the crystal page that's the start of this signature I've really reduced that page down and made the whole page into a large journaling card again another one of those index cards that I really like the concept of stitched on the back um more embellishments those little birds that i keep pointing out use them as a tuck spot for again a miniature journaling card all backed there's another cog butterfly it's a slightly different one and these are embossed in sort of a silvery black unlike the gold and the bronze that i've used throughout the rest of the book more tuck spot there and again there's that moon card. Oh, love it, Stamperia. Oh, it's just quite hard to get Stamperia here in the UK, but it is worth it when you find it. And there's that moon, which I think is my favourite image of the whole kit, is that metal moon. Those who do not believe in magic will never find it. True words were never spoken, Roldar. Outside of the dandelion paper, there's the sun. Another to flip up. More embossed writing. And a little Stamperia card in there. And then large pocket with, I had this postcard and I just thought it's the mule-eared uh, mule orchid, but the colours on it match with this kit so well. And then there's another tuck spot there with a tag and that's the end of Antonia 
So, this was a joy to work with to the point that I couldn't stop, which is why she got so big. Um, let me know what you think. Loved working with this kit. Really enjoyed doing this kind of cover as well. It's different for me, um, but I really enjoyed doing that and uh, loved working with all the cogs and the metals. Very different kind of look for my journals, which are normally really full of textile. Um, let me know what you think of her and you'll be able to find her in my Etsy shop and I will leave all the links to everything else down below. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this flip flu, flu through and I won't keep you any longer. So um, have a wonderful day, everyone. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what you've seen. Bye.